we all know how to integrate sin squared x dx or cos squared x dx or sin cube x or cos cube x. For sin squared x dx, you just multiply it by half into 2 sin squared x and now by using formula of multiple angles, you will get 1 minus cos 2x dx. Also for cos squared x dx, similar approach is to be done for cos squared x dx. Similar approach, sorry, spelling mistake, similar approach for cos squared x also to be done. Now for sin cube x dx, you have to multiply it by 1 by 4 into 4 sin cube x dx. Then you will use the formula of multiple angles for sin 3 theta and proceed to the integrating factors. And cos cube x dx, the similar approach is to be done also. Now if you are given the limit 0 to pi by 2 then you just put the values in the last line and you will get the value. Higher powers of sine or cos with the in limit 0 to pi by 2 you don't have the trick to evaluate those integrals. So this trick will help us to integrate such higher powers of sine or cos and to find the values. Now considering the integral as i n where integration 0 to pi by 2 sin to the power nx dx and the condition of n is a n must be a positive integer and the value of n is greater than 2. Now the formula to be used such types of integral is i n. We reduce i n in this kind of form like i n equals to n minus 1 by n into i of n minus 2 where n must satisfy the above condition and the limit must be 0 to pi by 2 to solve such type of integrals. Now we have the formula on the right side of the board. Now we will use to solve uh, this type of integrals. The integral is given as 0 to pi by 2 sin to the power 5x dx. That means i5. So we will use the formula that is n is 5, 5 minus 1 by 5 into i5 minus 2 that is i3. Again it will become 4 by 5 into i3. Now for i3, it will be 3 minus 1, that is n minus 1, 3 minus 1 divided by 3 and i3 minus 2, that is i1. That is 2 third of i1. Now you have to find the value of i1, that is i1 is 0 to pi by 2 sin x dx you can easily integrate this now after integrating you will get the value that is minus of cos x 0 to pi by 2 and the value will be 1 you just put the limits upper limit minus lower limit and you will get the value as 1 so that is we have i1 equals to 1. Now we will just substitute this value in the above equations that is i3 becomes 2 third into 1 that is 2 third. So we have i3 equals to 2 third and now for i5 it's 4 by 5 into 2 by 3 that means 8 by 15. So we will get the value i5 as 8 by 15. Now for you guys, these two problems are given. You must solve it by using this formula and answer me in the comment section below. Now for the cost function, similar approaches to be done. All the condition remain same as for sign that is n must be an integer and n must be greater than 2. And the formula is jn equals to n minus 1 by n into jn minus 1. To understand it in a better way, we have a problem as 0 to pi by 2 integration cos to the power 7x dx. And the formula on the right side of the board. Now you guys just have to do the similar approach as the previous example. If the power is an even integer, you must stop it into j2. That is, for even integers, you must stop the approach in j2 and for odd integers that is cos to the power 7 or sin to the power 7 you must stop it at i1 or j1. 
now you can see that we have j1 equals to 1 and just substitute the values in j1 j3 and you will get the values respectively as j3 j5 and j7 and you will get the required answer i hope this trick will help you in many entrance exam like je or nda and if you find this video useful then must like it and share this channel and also subscribe if you think it is useful in future now solve these two and answer me in the comment section below